if you don't mind me asking, like, I want to know more about you first. Like, can you share us your story before State AI, what market you work in, what type of clients you service, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, yeah. Um, so my name is Michaela Wiggins. I am a realtor with Keller Williams Realty out in Lafayette, Louisiana. I service the entire Acadiana area. Um, and I'm actually not from Lafayette, Louisiana. I'm from uh, Littleton, Colorado. So uh -huh. I've only lived in the area that I service um, about three years. And I've been licensed here about two and a half. So obviously, when I first started real estate here, I didn't have a sphere of influence to um, cater to and call. So my primary sources of business are for sale by owners, expireds, um, open houses, and I work with a ton of investors who give me referrals. Um, all of that is great. I still do that. But the market has slowed. Yeah. And that was also pretty time consuming um, to like compile all the data to I don't love the CRM that I have. So some of the things that I really liked about partnering with Estate AI is I do like the CRM and how I can manage that. I don't think any CRM is perfect because we all have different brains, but it's, <laughs> um, it's working good for me. And the other reason was I wanted to just have a list of people to call that I didn't have to put together myself. Um, I've used like other other um, companies that like give you the list, but there's still work on my end to do. I was really looking for a lot of leverage. So I like these online leads and I like that they're seller leads okay. instead of buyer leads because um, I mostly work with sellers. Okay, there you go. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. And with you not having a sphere of influence there um, in Louisiana, and you mentioned that the main source of like your leads before was mainly like the like the OG ones, like you do fistbos and you know, like yeah. that's, that's definitely for sure uh, time consuming. But so does that mean that a state AI is like the first lead gen company slash marketing company that you've been with? Here, one second. I think I'm getting yelled at for being in this parking lot. Oh, go for it. Oh, it's not me. I'm sorry. I pulled over so I wasn't. <laughs> oh, I thought they were going to kick me off. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> can you say that again? <laughs> I was just saying that, you know, like with your past lead gen or like lead source, which is FISBO and like the OG stuff, door knocking and all of that. Uh, does that mean that Estate AI is like your first lead gen company slash marketing company you've been with? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my lender was getting Zillow leads for a while, but that was through her. So yes, okay. this is the first company that I've partnered with for online leads. All right. Well, for sure, like Zillow, for example, you've heard of Zillow, for sure, realtor.com as well. I'm not going to name everything else, but have you tried <laughs> yeah. comparing Estate AI to other lead gen companies out there? And what do you think is the biggest difference that we have from them? So what's funny is, I did I did some comparing. My brokerage has a product that is very, very similar. Obviously, different CRMs. There's like things that make it different. Mm -hmm. um, what I liked about real estate AI is I put my information in from an ad. Okay. So I wasn't referred to. Like I saw an ad one day and I was like, yep, I want to know more and put my information in fully knowing like I'm a realtor I know how these things work like yeah. I'm giving my information away so people can basically sell to me um but what I liked about it was how you guys had followed up um the backing that you guys had and so that's really what got me I'm like if they can get me with an ad because I'm it's hard to sell a salesperson yeah. then I think you know they're gonna be able to get some some good leads from for me well, speaking of good leads, now we're going to talk about the exciting stuff, which is I yeah. heard uh, from you last week that I know that you've been on vacation before you even started calling Estate AI leads. But what happened with the Estate AI leads so far? You've been with us for, what, 20 days now? And how many leads yeah. you got? How many are you seeing that could be potentially a listing for you or if you have any already? Yeah, so... um. I guess, I guess I have been with you guys for 20 days. I think I've only had leads coming in for like a little over a week yeah, just because yeah. it takes a little bit of time to start up. So yes, it started right when I went on vacation. 
I was driving to the airport and I got the first one coming in and I thought, okay, I have two hours to the airport. I might as well just call them. The AI was already communicating with them and she responded really well to that. So that was a good start. And then I had, you know, just had a, a with anybody that I call, cause I'm a cold caller. It, the yeah. key is to just make them feel comfortable and make them feel like they're talking to somebody who is like a real person. Um, so I just had a, a real conversation with her, um, tried to educate her and provide a lot of value. Mm-hmm. And she ended up emailing me the next day and said, cause I had, I had scheduled time to come bring her evaluation. Yeah. Um, and then she said, she emailed me, she said, you know what, you don't have to come and, you know, do all that stuff. Let's just list it next time you come here. Wow. So she was completely motivated, ready, um, liked the process, liked what I had to say. So that was awesome. That one's listed. I just actually got back from a showing. Um, I haven't even listed it yet. I put my signs in last night mm-hmm. and I've gotten calls. So gotten to okay. show my own listing. So that's always great. Uh-huh. Um, and then aside from that, I, today was kind of the first day where I really got to sit down and go through every single lead that I've gotten in and oh. organize everything. So I called every single one. Um, you know, I've tried to reach out before, but it's been sporadic just because it's been busy. Um, there was a couple that I thought they had said stop to the AI. Like okay. their first thing was like, stop. And so I was very hesitant, like, what is this conversation going to be like? How are they going to react? Once I got them on the phone, or one of them said, why are you contacting me? I don't want to sell my house. Okay. And so I was like, okay. Well, that was through text. I'm like, I'm just going to call her. I called her and she was like, um, I was like, hey, I got your information. I want to provide you this um, home valuation. You know, it's a service that we offer. When can I come bring it by? And um. And, you know, we talked and I said, I understand you're not really looking to sell. And she goes, no, but, you know, it is really big. And I do kind of want to downsize and probably just move in the same neighborhood. So it was like she said something via text, but then told me something different in our phone conversation. And so we're meeting on Thursday, um, just a couple days from now. So I can bring her the valuation. and She can show me the house. Um, And then I got another one last night. So he didn't even put the right number in. Okay. He put in a different number. I Our MLS gives us a way for safety to pull numbers from people and see their like background. So I was able to actually get his real number, called him, left a voicemail. He called me back. He's like, yeah, I do want to know this. And so I have an appointment with him tomorrow. And he is looking to sell and buy. So. Wow. Okay. So a lot of wins from you. And again, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Like with very little time that you've had with a state AI and even running your ads in like a week or two from now and you getting those type of leads, like that just makes me super, super happy. And and like, like you are definitely an embodiment of what we have here in our core values, which is persistence beats resistance, right? Like you had a lead that told you, no, stop. I'm not looking to sell. You have a lead that also put in a different number, which is the incorrect one, but now you still manage to book an appointment with them and possibly get them into making a decision because like decisions, like that's some like leads raise their hand or basically ask for information because they need help. Right. And they cannot Mm -hmm. make a decision for themselves. And that's our job to, to help them make a decision. Right. And that's the exact same thing that happened with you and that other lead that you got uh, into an appointment with this coming Thursday. And I'm again, I'm just super happy about that. But I'm not even sure that this next question, like I'm not even sure if you've you've already been in one of our coaching calls, but if you have been, because again, the state AI is not just a lead gen company, but it's a whole program. So what do you think of our coaching calls or co- like everything, like support system, like everything else that you've experienced with a state AI? Like, what do you think about them? Yeah, so I haven't got to do as much as I would like to. I'm still actually like working through the trainings and everything. Okay. Um, I've been to one of the Q and A's with Jake and like the um, the onboarding with Jake, uh-huh. and I think that's really helpful. I want to do more because it's always good to see what other agents are doing, um, and especially in other areas. I really like to talk to agents in other areas because you know, you can kind of get 
into your own territory and a, a, with the realtors that are around here. And then, you know, everybody can kind of end up doing the same thing. So it's nice to talk to people outside of your little box and see the creative things that they're doing and also just get inspiration um, and, you know, ask the questions. Cause I still have like questions every day <laughs> that I need answered. So um, I definitely feel supported with the team. Awesome. Awesome. Well, now, what do you think you would say to someone that's on defense and joining a state AI? Would you recommend to for them to just do it, join, or like, what would you say to them? I would say if you're a motivated agent that is ready to like, go get business, then mm -hmm. it's a no brainer. I mean, I believe that anything that you're going to really dive into and try 100%, you're going to be able to succeed eventually. So, um, and I was on the fence as well. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that I did it. It's not an, it's not a, um, it's not an easy decision. Sometimes we're putting money out there and we all have to be careful with what we invest in. So I would say do it. And then, um, once you do commit, you actually have to go and like, you got to work. Uh, there you go. Put the work in, in order for you to get something in return, right? Because in order to get massive success, it takes massive action in it, right? 